Hello everyone, after the great success of Palm Elite across the whole of India for the GPAT 2018, receiving some great feedback from students, you can check them out on my YouTube channel as well. Just look after the video of the final move. This Palm Elite has finally decided that it will step in with classroom lectures in Mumbai from June 2018. So basically, why do you go to Palm Elite? What is the Palm Elite? So basically pharma elite pharma basically means the pharmaceutical sciences and the elite meaning the team of successful and the hard workers which are will be our faculties who will be working for the students of pharma elite day in and day out and those are the experienced faculty coming from academic and industry background so they have experience of both at the same time the fees of our classes is very much affordable and most important this free guidance which is going on through my youtube channel will go on even at that time and it is being found out by founders and co-founders which are from academy and industry as i said earlier so we're having a combination of both and why to go to pharma elite only so basically the classroom lectures which will be delivered will be the faculties who have very great experience nextly we will be focusing more on gpad syllabus so topic wise notes on that as well one to one interaction with each student and personal attention on them and what other classes don't do we'll be having further counseling and the guidance for students for the admission to maybe various institutions related to bids or phu or the NIPA. and a never-ending support and a motivation and the guidance for career opportunities ahead as well so basically it's going to be combination and not just focusing on gpad paper what are the advantages if i go to pharma elite First of all, I like to tell you it is different from the rest that you might have already experienced by now. Secondly, we have got seniors right from NIPER, ICT, BCP, which will be available to guide you all the time for the further studies. It's your journey with Pharma Elite doesn't end at GPAD paper only. It continues throughout in future, let it be job opportunities as well. Pharma Elite will be there with you. Now, why do I say seniors from NIPER, ICT and BCP? As you all know, your final year batch which has just attempted the paper they were from all over india and they're especially from nipo uh they're especially from ict and bcp the final year ones so they are the immediate ones who will be there to guide you and secondly since i am there at nipo hyderabad i'm experiencing the things happening around so i have my friends around who can help you out as well we are having faculties from industry and academic background as i said you earlier since the location what we have decided in mumbai is mostly sign it is close to central and harbor railway station so what happens is it is easily accessible so you save a lot of time on traveling which is the major duration which goes if you stay too far nextly as i said those seniors which are available those are there to guide you for further studies in india as well as in different countries as well so these are basically my friends who are abroad who can surely guide in you for the procedures and the things happening around Moving ahead to the topic of the discussion, so basically we'll be focusing on the name reactions. Primer dimer reaction, firstly, we should know that it is used only for synthesis of substituted aldehyde group. So you can never get benzaldehyde. Benzaldehyde is what? Basically, it is benzene attached to CHO. That is not possible. You will always get a substituted aldehyde group. It's not possible for benzene. Nextly, what it consists of basically is a phenol reacting with chloroform in presence of a base. Let it be NUH or KOH is being heated, and the major product obtained is aldehydic group at ortho position. While if you have substituted phenol while starting with the reaction, you already have a methoxy group on the ortho position. Then, under the same conditions, the product obtained is different. You get vanilline. By this, I mean that. Since the ortho position was occupied here by methoxy group, it's being transferred at the para position. And the question arises why doesn't it go to this ortho position? Even this ortho position is empty. Now, the reason basically is the steric hindrance, so it always moves far from it. Moving to the Grignard reaction, we all know it basically consists of a aldehyde or a ketone reacting with RMGX in presence of ether giving you intermediate something of this sort on hydrolysis which gives you alcohol so basically grignard reaction is used in preparation of alcohol so by this three 
what I like to tell you is if I'm starting with formality, the product obtained is a primary alcohol. If I'm starting with any aldehyde other than the formaldehyde, I'm getting a secondary alcohol. Try this. Take any aldehyde which is not formaldehyde, like take acetaldehyde, the product obtained will be a secondary alcohol. Or next thing what you can do is you take a ketone as a starting material, but the product which you will obtain will be a tertiary alcohol. So if you by heart this or it's basically a concept no need to buy out this as well then mcqs directly get solved for g part you need not write the reaction and check what can be the product moving on to tolens reagent so basically it's a aldehyde aromatic or aliphatic aldehyde in presence of silver and ammonia ag in h3 2 plus giving you carboxylic acid with the aromatic carboxylic acid following is the example for the c can is a reaction which is a very important reaction so it basically consists of <coughs> two moles of benzaldehyde reacting with the base <coughs> remember this it is a concentrated base the product obtained is a alcohol and it is basically a carboxylic acid in this case it's a sodium salt of carboxylic acid so it's two moles of benzaldehyde giving you product as benzyl alcohol and benzoic acid so can is there a reaction? Few important things. It will have a base which is concentrated, first thing. Secondly, the reactant will have two moles. Third thing, the product will be alcohol as well as a carboxylic acid. You may write alcohol and carboxylic acid, or you will write alcohol and sodium salt of carboxylic acid. Okay, this was a situation when I had two moles of benzaldehyde. Now, what if I have one aromatic aldehyde and one aliphatic aldehyde? So remember one thing in most of the cases the aromatic product is always the alcohol again you get the benzyl alcohol and the aliphatic gives you the carboxylic acid so generally you can go through the books and yeah, it has explained it very well moving ahead to decane oxidation it's basically hydrogen peroxide on the arrow you have a substituted phenol which has aldehyde group on the para position and the product obtained as two hydroxy groups so basically CHO is being replaced by OH like and subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos thank you